Something that had a horsepower rating. <laughs> While his skills were usually put to good uses, they frequently were not. <laughs> Without divulging too many details, you can thank me later, <laughs> Zach may or may not have hot-wired construction equipment before the sixth grade. <laughs> I wasn't there, but I wish I was. <laughs> he was capable of these types of things at that young of an age. You can imagine what he can do now. <laughs> In our older years, Zach and I have spent countless hours working on projects at his house or mine, putting his ingenuity to good use. We've had a lot of fun together, and I've learned a lot from him. He has always been willing to take things on that are beyond his expertise, but somehow always figures it out. Zach was an incredibly impulsive kid. He lived in the moment and thought of nothing else. I know you're all thinking that yeah, every kid is that way, but Zach was like in a league of his own. I was recently reminded of this story because my parents were trying to clear up some things around the house. One of these things being my storage bin of football cards. I was combing through the cards when I came across a sheet of paper. You have to understand that if I put something in my bin of football cards, it must have been important. <clears throat> I pulled this sheet of paper out and could not believe what I saw. I was probably nine years old, Zach was probably about seven. We had shared a bedroom our whole life, and I apparently really wanted to have my own room. <laughs> Recently, we had discovered that there was a trap door under the stairway at my parents' house. I love that trap door. It had kind of become our fort. At the time, we thought it was the coolest thing ever. Zach would do just about anything for money. And I may have been taking, it, I may have been taking advantage of his impulsiveness. But regardless, the sheet of paper that I found in my football cards was a contract that I drew up. I, wanted, uh, I was hoping they'd have the, the whole slideshow thing so I could put it up. It's, it's real deal. Here it is. And it says, this verifies that Zach will be out of my room for a year for $40. <laughs> if he ever wants to come back, he will pay $40 back to me. <laughs> if no money, no come back. <laughs> it's dated and signed. So you can come check it out later. <laughs> Knowing that Zach would never be able to come up with the 40 bucks, and the fact that he probably spent the money before he even signed the contract made this full proof. For about a year, Zach lived under the stairs, and I think he, seriously, and I think he actually enjoyed it. It was fun. I laugh when I think about my parents reluct reluctantly supporting me. I can just see them rationalizing by saying, well, John does have a binding contract. <laughs> Probably feeling a little bad, my dad had actually wired his new bedroom with an outlet and uh, an outlet and a light. It made it somewhat habitable. My brother was a little crazy. Probably the one my parents were most concerned about growing up. It's funny how things turn out. In my mind, Zach is probably the happiest, most content, and most successful one in our family. I'm glad that we have grown to become the friends that we are today. Shelby, you're a great person and a great person for Zach. In the beginning, I, I remember thinking, wow, this girl's quiet. <laughs> I don't think you're quiet anymore. <laughs> I'm a short lived. <laughs> I like your no holding back sense of humor, and I think you balance Zach nicely. He's one of the good guys, I think you chose wisely. My only words of advice to both of you are to enjoy this, this day to the fullest. You'll now understand why I put all this hard work into this day. So, I'd like to propose a toast, <laughs> simple toast, to congratulate Zach and Shelby on their wedding day and wish them best of luck.